Hi guys, Ronnie from Phone, and I'm going to be unboxing a massive 4K TV today. It's probably one of the cheapest 4K TV you can buy. It's the Wu 4K TV, 65-inch uh, television. Uh, going by the model number, which is mentioned there, I just can't spell it there. You can just check out the description for the actual product number. Uh, yeah, it's available on Flipkart, and it's priced at about 120,000 or 1.2 lakhs. And for that price, you get a 4K TV, a 65-inch size. I don't know if you can fit in the wall. From, uh, the wall here but still we're going to be trying it out so this is a pretty uh, well spec device it's uh, got a 4k a plus grade panel according to the company's claims it supports hevc codex and a lot of uh, host uh, features so i don't think we'll be unboxing this alone so probably you might need somebody else's help for unboxing it but then what we'll do is we'll first uh, show you the product packaging what it comes with and what it looks like and then probably we'll do another video or probably in the later half of this video show you what the quality uh, of the output on this uh, panel is like so let's uh, dive in and actually unbox or i don't know uncart this massive tv here uh. so let's go ahead and uh, unbox it so this thing is massive i think it's about four or five feet in terms of the uh, kind of the size in terms of the dimensions so it's 65 inch from here from this corner to the bottom corner it's a diagonal width so all right i think i'll probably need a bigger knife for this but i think there's some metal clamps also here maybe you might need a screwdriver to get that off okay so there's some copper tape here so let's actually go back here <laughs> looks like running from one end of the room to another <laughs> so this probably prevents uh, tampering of the device and it's stored in the warehouse so wow <laughs> so finally we open the box so i think there's a remote on the top something of that sort no this is probably the stand let's see what it is so this seems like a uh, the stand for the front I think is probably it says front right side so that's one of the stands so let's keep this handy okay so that's one side and let's check out what's on the other side so there's another stand here too probably this is the front left so Let me put the knife aside. <coughs> so here's the front left. So okay, this is the left. That's the left. Okay, that's the left. Okay. So let's put that aside too. And here we have the remote or batteries for something. I don't know what is this. Um, let's actually open this up. Okay, these are also I think for the stand. I think clamps. So there are two more, say scruffy or something, probably it's for clamping on to this. And here we have the TV itself. <laughs> it's massive. So let's actually try showing you by removing the thermocol on the top. So let's actually remove the thermocol here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, this looks like a massive piece of thermocol. So you have some protective uh, plastic here on the four sides, like on two on the front and two on the back. So these basically are preventing the box from going up. So, so these come off easily. So once these come off, you can actually lift this. Oops, hopefully I don't let it tip over. Wow, I think I need a hand now. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, okay, so I think we have got rid of the box. <laughs> I think it's taller than me probably. <laughs> so this box is like, okay, let's put that aside. Hmm. Okay, so this is the TV. Not too big, but then surely bigger than our 40 inch we have here. So this is the TV itself sitting on a thermocol yeah. Just want to make sure that the panel isn't cracked or anything. So doesn't seem like it. 
Okay, so here we have something here. We have the remote and the quick setup guide and everything. So let's take a look. So let's get this out. So this is the remote as a Netflix button and a YouTube button. So I'm assuming there are these apps loaded on the TV for that. So pretty much a standard remote, nothing fancy here. And then it's coming from Bangalore, but it says California. <laughs> I think they have an R&D uh, team in California. So this is the power cable for such a big TV, such a small power cable. So I think you'll have to probably use a voltage stabilizer. And then there are these tiny screws. I think these are for using the stand and mounting the TV. So that's the screws. Make sure not to lose them. And these are these triple A batteries. Everdura, I think it's a combination of Everdy and Duracell. <laughs> Some Chinese brand. And then you have the user manual and a quick setup guide. This is the model number of the TV, LTD N65 XT780 XWA U3D. So that's the model number. <laughs> so that's the stuff here. Yeah. So, so that's about it. So let's actually try to uh, kind of mount the TV now on the stand. We're going to be actually getting it on the mounted on the wall, but we'll actually try putting it on a stand now and checking the video quality. We also get a wall mounting bracket in the box itself. So just found that at the bottom of the box. So this is the uh, wall mounting bracket for the TV. So it comes complementary with it. I would recommend installing this on a wall because it's a pretty big TV. It might tip over if you put it on a stand or something. So I would recommend mounting it on a wall. Uh, so that's the wall mounting kit. So we're going to be powering it on. As you can see, it's set up. Put the uh, stabilizer, gave the power supply. And a joke, big joke here. So that's a 40 inch Wu TV, our old TV. And this is the new 65. And that looks like some old iPhone 4S or something of that sort or an iPad mini uh, next to an iPad Pro. It's like, just to see them, the difference is massive. I'm like, so thrilled about this huge 65 inch TV. Wondering if even gaming is possible on this. That's the setup screen and it looks like <laughs> really massive. So that's a time zone and all that initial setup being done. So here we have, so via HDMI, we are driving an Apple TV where it's downloading a game. And here we have the app screen and media and VOD. So video on demand, you have Netflix, YouTube, TED, Daily Motion, and all that stuff. And on the top, you have the time for the day. It's, I think it's syncing to the uh, server and getting the time and all that. So it's connecting to our Wi-Fi on a uh, router. You don't have any USB on the inside. So I'm just clicking on it. Uh, just to show you what does it show inside and yeah we have a Dropbox here so you can probably sync your Dropbox account and get some files from there and probably photos and all that so YouTube does play only in HD which is sad uh, no 4k support yet but hopefully they would uh, bring that support uh, pretty big YouTube logo and but it does show some 4k content here in the recommendations uh, so let's play probably this video Northern India by Jacob and uh, Katie Schwartz. It's a pretty popular video. As you can see, it's playing in HD only. And let me pause it, play it again. As you can see, the quality which was pixelated does get a little better. But this is still only HD, not 4K. But still the quality is breathtaking on this TV. Uh, we're going to be actually loading 4K content, uh, side loading it and showing the same video to you as well later. So this is the full HD video uh, being seen on a 4K panel. So pretty nice uh, quality. And you can see the color reproduction is also pretty decent. I think the best thing would be to kind of try gaming at a 4K resolution. I'm going to be putting our 980 Ti to good use on a Skylake machine which we built. So yeah, so this is YouTube. As you can see, it's uh, rendering now at uh, 4K 3840 by 2160p. So it's in the settings and you can see uh, Windows 10 booted up in my desktop. So kind of got fed up trying to find 4K content within the app. Uh, even Apple TV doesn't support 4K. So that's what. So, But the desktop now, we have a really a powerful NVIDIA graphics card. So 
it's a 980 ti graphics card so you're able to drive it at 4k so let's quickly show you a glimpse of 4k content on the tv so here we have uh, windows 10 uh, finally connected a tv to it i mean uh, cpu to it because we weren't finding any 4k content didn't have anything handy so this connected my 980 ti uh, desktop uh, powered by an intel processor uh, and an nvidia graphics card so and it's got about 16 gigs of ram so it's driving 4k like uh, a piece of cake so as you can see it, it can even drive 4096 by 210 i'm going to be just trying what happens if you actually click this let's try that as well i'm not sure if it will work so as you can see it does support but the width uh, does take a hit so 3840 by 2160p is the maximum you can render so as you can see we are playing uh, grand theft auto in actually 4k the game does have a 4k resolution but we haven't actually downloaded the textures so it might not be the real quality but let's quickly get out of the car let me get this guy out of the car here yeah. and as you can see this guy is running around so <laughs> got hit by his own car so that's it guys so this is actually a browser being seen on a 4k screen as you can see pretty clear text and this is youtube open we actually shot a 4k sample on a sony phone at ifa in berlin that was the last 4k video i think we have on our channel in terms of a camera sample beautiful uh, quality as you can see here if you see the bottom and the right you can see the 4k uh, logo in terms of the video quality so as you can see pretty good quality so we're going to be trying to uh, test a lot more 4k content on this tv and we'll definitely let you know how it looks like so but for now kind of uh, surprised with what we're getting for the price it's about 120,000 or 1.2 lakhs and getting a 65 inch 4k display we're going to be getting it mounted on the wall so that's about it so that's a quick unboxing and demo of the Wu 4K TV. Sadly, we don't have a 4K wallpaper on this machine, but promise you that we will be making another video after testing all TV out. So thanks for watching. Do the like if you like this video and if you take uh, appreciate us taking the time to get this video out to you. And thanks for watching again and see you in the next video.